Hello dear friends, today we're going to have a quick talk about uh, concurrency in Power Automate and uh, I'll try to explain to you what it is and how to use it and how it can help you to improve your uh, flow performance. So let's have a look first what concurrency is. You see here is a quick definition, it uh, basically is something that uh, happens at the same time or in uh, parallel. Right. And when we talk about concurrency in Power Automate, uh, it basically means that we can uh, run either one instance or maximum 50 instances of uh, specific loop actions in Power Automate at the same time. So uh, let's say we have multiple items that we go through and uh, we can process one item at the same time or we can process maximum of 50 items at the same time which naturally makes our flow a bit faster and um, yeah it saves us a lot of time so let me show you what I mean what I mean if we go to the uh, power automate center to flow.microsoft.com I have here one uh, flow uh, this is a very simple one. It's a manual flow. What it does, it uh, retrieves items from a specific SharePoint list called Issue Tracker. And then what it does, you see there is a loop here, apply to each. So I go into this loop and for each item in the SharePoint list, I add an attachment. You know, this is just an attachment that has the... Uh, item you see for each item it uses item id as a property to navigate to the item and then for the file name i just use attachment and then the item id and for the file content you know i just put a simple string uh, like a sample attachment contents so just some you know a couple of words here together without any spaces so what it does, right, it iterates through each item in uh, the SharePoint list and uh, creates an attachment. So it basically adds an attachment. This list has about 1000 items. So let's run this and see how long uh, will it take to, you know, to, to make this action. Let me test it. Let I go here to test manually, click test and the flow is running. Right. It requires me to uh, allow permissions to SharePoint for the first time. And then I run the flow. And let's see how long will it take to run. Now let's have a look and see the flow has finished running here. Right. And it took uh, 1 minute 15 seconds for the whole flow to run. And to attach, um, you know, to make attachments to each of these items. Right, I have here one of the items open, just an example. And you see here in associated files, I have an attachment and then the item ID. You know, these IDs will not be the same as the numbers because, you know, undercover, the, the system IDs are a bit different from the, from the ones we see here. So uh, let's see if I open this attachment, right? I open the file and let me open it with notepad. You see, and it just has a simple string, you know, simple uh, line of text. So that's what it took about one minute and something, right? One minute, 15 seconds for the item to process. What's interesting to see, if I look here and apply to each and go to settings, under settings I see something that is called concurrency control. If I enable it, it you see it shows something which is called degree of parallelism. It means that in parallel I can run, you know, currently the default um, condition would be like 20 items and I can 
move here to 1 or to make maximum 50. So let's do the maximum, right? We assume that uh, the flow, this loop, would process 50 items in parallel. Let's give it a try. And then I just modify my flow a little bit to uh, make sure uh, that attachment has a different name, right? Because I already have attachments with the same name, then I would get an error if I try to reattach those. So I save it. You see, and I get a warning, which is totally okay. Let me uh, test it now. I test it manually. And then I go to run the flow. And see what happens. You see it runs. Technically it should run faster than the previous time, right? Because uh, since the concurrency was off, it would process fewer items. So uh, let's have a look now how long it took for the flow to run, right? The first run, it was 1 minute 15, and the second run, it took only 13 seconds. So it means that the performance was considerably faster. And that is something you can definitely use in your uh, flows. And I can also check here. Let me check to make sure that items are added. That attachments are here. If I select this item. All right, I see an attachment. Yeah, there is one more attachment with one, two, in the end so uh, that's the lesson for today right there is a concurrency control where you can control you know how many parallel items will be processed at the same time uh, one more time to summarize if you go to a specific loop action you would see here under settings there is something concurrency control one thing to remember though when you enable it um it's let me see if it's possible to yeah it's possible to deactivate previously it was not possible to deactivate it so uh that's something you are in control of and something that you can use to improve your performance thanks for watching have a great day bye bye